Hey, how you doing? David Taub here for Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks so much for joining us today. We got a great song lesson today. We're going to do an acoustic stripped down version for one guitar for Creep by the Stone Temple Pilots. Fun song to play. Just need a handful of chords, eight or nine open chords, no bar chords needed. I'm going to show you all the rhythms. I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to show you all the strumming patterns. And you could be playing this song fast and fun. It's a great song for beginners to mess with. It's also, if you've been playing a while, it's a great song to add to your song catalog, to use as a vehicle to work on your chord changing, your rhythm, your timing, and to have a lot of fun, right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over all the chords you're going to need to know to play this song. So you're going to need a C major open chord, B7, E minor, E minor 7, G. I play the G with four fingers. Uh, you could play it with three fingers. A lot of students like that G also. They're both G chords. Uh, a minor. And if you take your first finger off, you have an A suspended second. C add nine. D. D open, all open chords. The song basically has four parts. There's an intro, and it's pretty much just a variation of the intro for the verses. There's a pre-chorus, and then there's a chorus, and the chorus has that cool guitar lick, which I'll show you that too. Um, and that's it, it's just four parts. There's a couple little variations to each as far as how many times they play a chord at the end of a verse or chorus. So if we start with the intro, the chords are C to a B7, to E minor that you let ring, and then add an E minor 7th by adding that 3rd and 4th finger to the high E and B strings. Let me play it for you. It sounds like this, and then I'll go over the rhythm. Then it goes into the first verse. And hey, if you're struggling with any of these chord changes, or if you're just struggling with chord changes in general, and you, and you can't seem to get the fingering in time, and it's a little bit frustrating, you know, I totally understand. I totally feel you. And chord changing is a very challenging aspect of beginner guitar. It gets easier as you go along, but it's so important that you're using the proper fret hand technique and the proper chord changing principles. I can help you with that. I have a really awesome video lesson. I'll send it to you for free. It's all about chord changing techniques, fret hand techniques. It's chocked full of tips and tricks to make your chord changing go so much easier. It'll really get your changes tightened up. It's also packed. I packed it with tons of practice, practice exercises. So you'll know how to practice chord changing and what exercises will get your changes, you know, going really quickly, the fastest, very efficiently. Um, so just click on the link in the YouTube description box. Free video lesson, free ebook from Epic Guitar Instruction. So let me show you the, uh, the, the strum pattern. That's probably the hardest thing that you'll have with this song at first is getting all the different strums down. But I'll show you the patterns and after a while, once you practice them, you just kind of use your ear and you get used to the feel of it and you will get it. So on the C, I'm doing a down, down, up, down. That's it. And this is the same kind of rhythm I'm also going to use for the verses. And I'm stripping this down for one guitar. On the original recording, there's a couple of guitars and there's some lead stuff. We're just going to play it for one. So if you're just sitting there, you can play this by yourself, sitting on the porch with your friends or at a party or, you know, or when you're hanging out. So uh, we're, we're just basically arranging it for one guitar. And I'm going to give you a strum pattern with a lot of the rhythm you'll be able to use for multiple parts in the song just to keep it simple. And then once you get better at this, you can embellish the strum and change it and, you know, make it your own. So on the C, we're going to do a down, down, up, down. Really important with this is not to rush it either. It's kind of slow and kick back. And then when you go to the B7, you're going to do a down, 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 down. And then a down up. I put that down up in there so it'll make it easier for you to keep time. Probably not on the record, but it, it, it makes it easier for you to keep time. So do a down, down, down. So if you put both of those together,
on that B7. And then E minor. Now, on the E minor chord, let that ring. Then you're going to add the minor 7th by adding the two fingers up top. Okay, so you let the E minor ring. And then here's the strum pattern for the E minor 7. This is important because this E minor 7th chord is going to keep revolving throughout the song and you're going to play it with this rhythm. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. So if you have a longer strum pattern or one you're having trouble with, break it up into parts. So this one is down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Up. Let's break that up. I'm just holding the strings so you can get the rhythm. I'm not even playing a chord. Down, down, up, up, down. That's the first part. Down, down, up, up, down. Then the second part. Down, up, down, up. Straight eighth notes. One and two and. Put them both together. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Just roll that. Play along with me. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So you hit that E minor, let it ring. Right? And then you add the minor seven chord. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. It's twice. Then the second time. Let it ring again. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Here's that whole intro. With the ring. Again. Second time through on the intro, you just hit the E minor chord and let it ring. And then there's that little drum fill and then the first verse starts. So the verses, same chord changes pretty much as the intro. The verses is going to start on an E minor 7th to the C to the B7. And you're going to use the same strum patterns that I showed you on the intro. Uh, so when you come out of the intro and you have that E minor chord ringing, then just start up. The, the verse section starts with that E minor 7th chord. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, right to the C. Down, up, down, up, B7, down, down, up. E minor 7, let it ring. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Let it ring. That's the verse section. Now the last time on the verse, on the E minor 7th chord, you're going to play it twice. Ring, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then into the pre-chorus. And the pre-chorus, the chords change. It goes from a G to an A minor to an A sus2. That's an easy change. Just take that first finger off the E minor chord and you have the A sus2 to an E minor. Let it ring. And that E minor 7th with that same strum pattern again. And, and in the pre-chorus, it runs through that three times. The last time, on the third, the last time, you go G, A minor, A sus2. But instead of going to that E minor, E minor 7th, go to a C at 9 to the D. And then it goes into the chorus. So let me play it for you. Here's the uh, the the, the pre-chorus. Let's take time. Down, 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 up on the G chord. Down, 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 up. Right into the uh, to the A minor. We're gonna use a down, up, and then down, down on the A sus two. Down, up on the A minor, and then down, down. So if we put those two together, the G to the A minor, you get. I like to feel go left E minor, let it ring, and then the same strum pattern. So I'll play the, the pre chorus for you, and it does it two times as I showed you, and then the third time it goes C add 9 to D. Here's what that'll sound like. See at nine. Okay, now on the C at nine, I just go down, 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 up to the D. 
down, 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 up, down, up. Because we want to build into that chorus. So C at 9. D. And we go into the chorus section. All right, so now you know the intro. Connected that to the verses, and all the verses are pretty much the same. Then into the pre-chorus, and now we're going to learn the chorus. Um, so let's go in on a tight shot, and I'll show you that cool little lick. It's basically the lick has two parts, and you play play the whole lick through four times. So this lick in the chorus in Creep sounds like this. I'll do it slow. All right, so um, it's basically two parts. The first part, open low E string, second fret A string, open D string, right? And then you go open low E, second fret uh, again on the uh, low E, open A, open D. Then the next part, second and third fret low E, second fret A, open D. So you get this. And then the last part of the first one is third fret low E, open A, second fret A, open D, second fret D. So all together slow. And then the second part of the lick is the same beginning. Just with those last different four notes. Third fret low E, open A, first fret A, second fret A with a little vibrato. Here's the whole thing. And you play that four times every time in the chorus. And in fact, the song ends with that. It ends. So now that you know all the parts to the song, intro, verses, pre-chorus, chorus, you just have to connect them together because there's two verses, you know, several choruses and whatnot. So after you come out of the first chorus, the lick that you just learned, get to, right after that last note, get to an E minor seventh chord and just do the strum pattern twice and that takes you right back into a verse. I'll show you what I mean. Right, we're back into the verses, so that's how you can connect it the first time. Then it goes to the second verse, second pre-chorus, second chorus. Then coming out of the second chorus, of course, for the second time, you just let it ring and then there's some on the record there's some other effects another guitar player but if you just one guitar I would let it ring and then maybe pick some of the notes arpeggiate and then maybe do an up pick way back here high on the bridge with that real trebly sound right a couple of those that sounds kind of cool and then it goes back into the uh, pre-chorus so you got to go from there back into the G part. And then it goes from the pre-chorus right into the chorus, and that's the last chorus of the song. And then the song ends with the lick. You play the lick the last time through. And it ends right on that B note. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, remember, as you're going through your guitar journey, if you're having trouble in a song, with a certain chord change. Just practice that change back and forth, back and forth. Write all the changes that you're struggling with down and practice them back and forth, 10 minutes, five minutes a day. And go get that video lesson, click on that link because it will really help you with your chord changing. It's a great video lesson and an ebook and I have tons of exercises in the video lesson and the ebook that'll really get your chord changing to the next level. So take advantage of that. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link, right? And if you like this video, it really helps us out if you can hit the like or the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. 
never miss a lesson here at Epic Guitar Instruction because we're going to have all kinds of great lessons for beginners, intermediates, advanced players, electric, acoustic, and all genres of music. So be sure and subscribe. And then also, if you have any questions, you know, drop us an email. Drop us an email at uh, epicguitarinstruction at yahoo.com. Let us know where you're at in your journey. And if you're interested, we have DVD products, instructional products for all levels of players, all different genres of music. No matter what you're working on, we could put the uh, uh, instructional product in your hand that you're looking for. Drop, drop me an email. Let me know what you're looking for. I'll get right back to you. Thanks again for watching. I'm David Taub with Epic Guitar Instruction. And uh, you keep putting those guitars in your hands. Uh, remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. It's a journey. Enjoy that journey. And we'll see you back here next time. Take care.